Oilers. This week, we'll get you in the spirit of the season with Kindness Week and opportunities to give. After that, you'll learn about a chance to go to France, Deaf Culture, and FCA. Okay, this is epic. Let's get started. Kindness, the root of love, the root of hope, the root of life. Without kindness, none of these things are possible. Kindness reveals itself in many different forms, some of which aren't recognized as kindness. So, what does it mean to be kind? It's really important to be kind because a lot of times there are issues in, in the world like war and like atrocities and things that we can't really fix because they're on a large scale. And I feel like sometimes the only thing that we can do as people on a small scale is be nice to each other and love each other and be kind to each other. If people are just mean to each other, then everything, every environment's just hostile and people don't want to work together, they don't want to share different things. So when people show kindness, it kind of opens people up and helps them connect to each other. Kindness is that positive energy that you have when you meet people. I think an example of a random act of kindness would be like texting a friend to ask how their day was or just waving to someone in the hallway. In some way, letting someone know that you are thinking about them. Someone going out of their way, maybe even putting themselves at a disadvantage just for the sake of someone else. Making someone feel happy about themselves or good about themselves. A random act of kindness that like sticks out to me would be talking to someone that you don't particularly like but you can tell they're having a bad day. When you're going through a drive through and then the person in front of you plays, like pays for all your food, and then you're like, oh, all this food, and then so you decide to pay for the person behind you. To so reach out to people who you know aren't reached out to, like to see someone who's sitting by themselves or someone who you know doesn't really get that kind of attention and just making it known that there's someone out there who will talk to them and who is willing to put the effort in to be nice to them. When you go out of your way to tell someone and compliment them. When you're walking down the street and someone just smiles at you. Spending the few seconds it takes to do something little to make someone stay better. It's important to kind of relay that positive energy and keep that running in the world. I think that's what the def true definition of kindness is. It's being able to be there for somebody when they might, may not necessarily be there for you. Everybody wants that. Everybody deep within them, whether or not they'll admit it or not. Um, everybody wants to know someone cares about them. Those tiny little things, they add up. And being kind to them can just brighten them up and like realize that like, oh, someone is noticing me. Someone's actually going out of their way to be kind to me. Because being kind to someone can change their life in an instant and like the way that they view the world. Hey Oilers, as we're in the season of giving, it is important that we do our part to help those in need. This year, HBHS is hosting both a clothing drive and a toy drive. Last year, we donated over 3,600 pounds of clothes and shoes. Our goal for this year is 7,000 pounds. Bags and boxes of clothes, towels, and shoes will be accepted. Just bring them to your second period homeroom before December 17th. The truck will be loaded on December 17th by representatives from your second period homeroom. Several toy drive boxes have been dropped off for us to fill as well. Just bring your new and unwrapped toys to the boxes in Mrs. Young's classroom, the HBHS reception desk, the APA office, the lobby of the Sounds of the Season shows, or the HBHSD district office. Have a happy holidays! Are you interested in boosting Europe? If so, you're in luck because you have the opportunity to do so this summer. Here's Madame Dunn with more information. This summer, we will be traveling to Paris and Cannes and London. Most of the time, we start off our trip in Paris, so we'll be seeing La Tour Eiffel, Notre Dame, and um, we'll be going to Musée, many museums. So this year, we will going, be going to Musée d'Orsay, and we're going to be visiting some canals this year, and we're going, going, to, going to go to a famous cemetery called Père Lachaise, where some famous people have been buried, such as Edith Piaf and um, Jim Morrison, etc., and Chopin. The trip is 12 days. So we're departing from LAX on the 24th of June, and we'll be in Europe up until July 5th. So if you're interested in traveling with us, come and see me in J11 and I have packets for you that will explain the details and how to register and so on and so forth. And in addition, if you are interested, there is a $400 discount up through December 20th. So if you come and see me, I'll be here and I can help you um, get some more information on what you may need. 
Hey Oilers, have you ever wondered about deaf culture or how deaf people can live in a hearing world? Here's Ms. Harris to tell you all about it. I label myself D for deaf, but it's like a capital D. Is that because I'm involved into the deaf community and I use ASL, I'm involved and interact with lots of deaf people. There's other groups, they might label themselves deaf, but with a lowercase d. And it just means they're not involved with the language, with the deaf community. They just prefer to be called maybe hard of hearing or hearing impaired. Okay. But what I always teach, kind of just more gestures. First thing to do with the facial expressions. If you travel to a different country and you kind of interact with people, how do you do that if you don't know the language? It's fine, you can just kind of interact with gestures. Or there's always writing. You can use paper or your phone, just text it out and show them. Use the notes. Yes, I'm very proud to be deaf. I'm happy that I use ASL as my primary language. And I'm happy for my friends that are deaf. I'm happy for my family that's deaf. I'm very proud to be deaf. A lot of people will say, oh wow, deaf, like what a negative thing. And for me, no, being deaf, I'm, I'm very proud of it. It's a positive thing to me. What is FCA? FCA is a fellowship of Christian Athletes Club. You don't have to be a Christian or an athlete. You just get to come and hang out and there's free pizza and we have a speaker and we play games and just hang out and have fun. I joined it because I am a Christian, but I'm not an athlete. And it's just a super fun for fellowship and a time to hang out with friends. We hold meetings in the gym every other Tuesday at lunch. And our first huddle is actually going to be December 4th, Tuesday. And we'd love to have you come. If we get enough people to come, our next meeting we'll be raffling off in and out gift cards, Starbucks gift cards, shirts, beanies, a bunch of cool stuff that you guys would like. So be sure to come into our first huddle December 4th and we'll see what goes from there. Be sure to make the most of these excellent opportunities. And remember, Oilers, 